Um, I don't have a PowerPoint today because I truly believe in saving people from death by PowerPoint, um, but I do have some uh, videos because I think that will really show us the work that Umbrella does. So um, before I start, though, I would like to acknowledge the traditional owner of the land on which we are meeting today and pay my respect to their elders past and present. And I also would like to acknowledge that in the room today we have Umbrella's president, Neil de Eisen, and also our CEO, Anna Harrison, and our special guest, Irene Hunyadi, who actually were part of the team who originally granted the first grant for Umbrella back in 2000. Um, Umbrella Com Multicultural Community Care Services, Inc., or as we like to call it Umbrella, just for short, is a small, well, medium size now, organization located in Perth. We are non-for-profit and we provide services to seniors from multicultural or cultural, linguistically and diverse and LGBTI backgrounds. Um, I can't tell you how amazing this organization is, and even its beginning is like a story to tell. So in 2000, there was a group of dedicated people who had a dream. They knew they have an aging community. They knew they need to do something about it. And they knew that the mainstream, that was mainstream care that was offered at the time, is not suitable for them. So they came together with one vision and one visionary in there, Anna Harrison. They knew they need to do something about it. So they went to the government and asked if they can give a try. And the government said to them, I'll give you $100,000 non-recurrent funding for a year to prove yourself. And they did. So after 18 years, now Umbrella services more than 700 people from 56 different countries. Or as someone like to say, we are bigger than Eurovision. <laughs> Um, and to be honest, these people made culturally appropriate services cool even before it was mainstream. Um, 18, so now we're also moving into possibly um, moving into a new office in Belmont um, and making into a state-of-the-art multicultural hub. So we are extremely happy about that and excited, hopefully happening soon. So Tonya asked me to also to get some of Pearl of Wisdom from Umbrella and why is it working so well. Well, first, what I would like to say is that Umbrella has family values. Even in our slogan, we say, being part of Umbrella means to belong a multicultural family. And same in the morning, our doors are always open. Our CEO has an open door policy. Anyone can walk in, sit down, and we will ask you, hey, what's your name? How are you? You know, why are you here today? So that family value is so embedded into everyday service delivery. Um, it is part of what Umbrella is and who we are. Um, then yesterday, after Anna's speech, my friend turned to me and said um, another one, which I was not included originally in my speech, but the other one she said, Henny, I feel that Umbrella doesn't put an age on people. And that's correct, that's, she put it so well. Umbrella doesn't put an age on people. We're treating them as the citizen of the 21st century. We're providing them services that they want. We're asking them questions that, so we know what they need. And I think that's amazing. For example, we have the internet cafe where they can connect um, and they can see videos in their own language. Internet or in, uh, the, I, the digital technology can be very empowering for them because they can read things in their own language if they're able to read, of course. And then we, we have the Home at Home program, which is a fantastic program where we collect people based on their culture, religion, or interest and take them, give them a bus and off you go. They have fantastic fun. I can't tell you how amazing that program also is. And of course, we have Golden Zumba which is very popular, and I have two videos to show, so I'm going to show you two videos from those programs. I cannot stress enough how much I just love Umbrella, I love the Internet Cafe, and I love all the staff, unbelievably so. They are just exceptional people who have a loving care, and I just love them all. I would highly recommend to anyone that is at home, alone, um, has no computer knowledge, to please attend Umbrella. You cannot ask for a better organisation to help you through the steps of um, 
computing, how to get started, how to look things up. It is unbelievable. Thank you. And the other one is from our Zumba class. And I would like to acknowledge the amazing work that my colleagues do every single day. I know they're having more fun, and I'm jealous of them, <laughs> because I'm usually behind the computer, telling their stories, by the way, but they're doing an amazing job. Um, we also have the van, which was mentioned um, previously. Um, the reason why we wanted to set it up, and we actually have uh, information on that van for th in 33 different languages, so quite diverse, but we also have support workers with it on with that language, because I truly believe that we need a link face-to-face, -face. and that's a cultural pers a person with the cult a right cultural background who can act as a bridge. So one thing, the information, the second one is the actual support behind that van, because we felt that CDC came before consumer education. And right now, consumer education is left to the providers who are depend on those consumers. I don't believe that's fair for anyone in this, in this system. Last one is about umbrella ability to bring together people from 56 different countries. And that's not easy. Most organizations are either for the Greeks, for the Italians, or some, but we have 56 different cultures. How come? And I think if I look at these videos and, and look at what we do every day, the point is that umbrella goes down to one thing, and that is focusing on basic human needs. Doesn't matter where you're from, doesn't matter what language you speak, you wanna feel loved, you wanna feel safe, and you want to feel needed. We need our clients to you know, make us happy as well as them. It's a constant two-way, um, it's a two-way um, stream, you know. We, we, the staff and the clients are work, you know, having so much fun together. And I think that's really important. And that family value, because we, most of the, most of the cultures we service are collectivist. I don't understand individual. They understand family. They understand us. They understand friends. And that's the language that Umbrella speaks on a daily basis. And I think that's one of the core um, value that we have that actually works for us and able to bring together people. Um, and also we're linking people um, with support workers who speak their language, which enables them two things. Either if the person wants to link with their own community, then we can help them to do that on their own language, or the cultural support worker actually help them to link with the mainstream by providing language support. So whatever the person's needs are, we're able to provide that. Um, and finally, I did not know that my CEO will be in the room. I thought she would be flying out by now. So I would like to say just a couple of words, because I did write that down, that Anna, working for Anna Harrison is always a pleasure. She is one of the most inspirational women I have ever met. She can bring people together on a level that is incredible. Uh, you should see our umbrella team. It's like a family, truly. We love each other, we support each other, and we crawl, crawl as well, don't worry, they are arguments. 
but we stand up to what matters, and that's our clients and what we do every day for them. And also as inspiration for the future generations. Um, I'm a very creative person and very energetic one, and I have good ideas, and then go to Anna, and Anna with her major wisdom comes and narrows it down to something tangible, and I think that's beautiful. So for me, very inspiration to work with Anna, and I'm very grateful. I like to say that I love working for Umbrella because there's no one day when I get up and say, I have to go to work. I don't have that for three and a half years, so I'm very grateful. And I have the last video uh, rep, um, dedicated to Anna. It's about our Christmas, which is very special, not just for our clients, but for our staff, because we understand we're working with migrants whose family may not be here. So we m always make sure that every Christmas is special to our clients and to our staff. And Anna goes to every single group and greet them and, and celebrate with them. So Anna is, will be in there, and I want you to watch it because it's a beautiful moment for me, uh, for, my, for the clients, for the staff, for everyone else at Umbrella. Thank you. The staff and clients dancing together. Czym prędzej się wybierajcie do 